Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Harami Afed, and the title of my project is The Big Ninja. I'm fortunate and opportune to be a privileged member of Cohort 6 of Moat Academy, Baby Lagos. It's a usual sight whenever you are going through a uh, city metropolis in the morning, maybe you are dashing off to work or somewhere, and you pass by a newsstand, you see people gathered. Not everybody there is actually there to buy a newspaper or magazine. But some are just there for the fun of interacting with others and sharing their opinions and their views and ideas concerning issues. So I decided to come up with a web application where anyone, anywhere, anytime, from the comfort of wherever they are, can share their opinion or their view concerning any topic that has been raised by others or by themselves. So that's the purpose and reason behind the debate my job. I used some technologies to develop this, starting from HTML5 as the base, and styling was done using CSS3, and everything concerning the UI was done from scratch. Took advantage of Twitter Bootstrap, which is a front end component library for designing mobile first responsive websites. And so, if I were to show us a preview of this, the home page, if I were to reduce the screen size and assume a person were viewing this using a phone or a mobile device. Well, I used HTML5 and CSS to do this and with Bootstrap to make it mobile responsive. And then, it's not just a website, it's a web application. So it means there's a need for dynamic content to be generated. Not only that, that users are engaged to perform or carry out specific tasks. And that was done, first of all, by using my SQL database technology to design and model the database. I used MySQL Workbench to do that. And then I used also PHP programming language along with JavaScript programming language and jQuery Ajax all together to make it dynamic, both from the front end and the back end. First, when the person comes, this is the home page where the person sees, and you can see all the debate categories Wherever the person clicks on, you go there, you see the topics under that category, and you can click on any of the topics to see what has been said on that particular topic. However, the person may be able to see those who have agreed and disagreed because when you give a topic, or when you post a topic, people can respond, users can respond to that topic by commenting, in opposition, or in support, or being indifferent. There are three categories of comments, or classes, comments belong to on this platform. But apart from that, users who don't want to comment, or those who have even commented, can also interact on the platform based on what others have commented. So, like this person, a user can come in and say, okay, I agree with this statement, or I disagree. But if the user must put up a comment, then he's either going to support, or oppose or be indifferent. And all that statistics is seen here. You can see all these are the topics listed on that politics section. You can see one person here as is supporting and noting for oppose and indifferent. If I were to log in, if I come down here, you can see in the home page, you see now that no member online. If I were to log in here, You see, Oyebola is logged in now, and we now have one member online. If I were to go to another browser, and refresh here, to simulate two persons working on different, you see, it's one person logged in. Or if I were to register a new member, we'll join, and choose a name. First, 
The username must begin with a letter and must be at least five characters. Letters, numbers, and underscore are allowed. Now, let's say I want to register Victoria. I'll say Victoria. And instead of starting with a letter, I start with a number. I'm putting the email address Victoria Allow at mail.com. And for the password, it must be six characters, only letters, numbers, and underscore allowed. Let me just type in something. Come here. Type in. And remember, I want to check for the name, whether it's validated. It will say your username must begin with a letter. So this will not log, will not register till I remove that number and put in the correct password. Say I use Victoria also as the password. So there, Victoria, your successful conversation. You can log in. You come here and type Victoria allow at mail.com and type in the password. I hope it's correct. You no. Know? Okay. So this is Victoria now. If I were to go to my other browser and refresh, you see there are two members online now. So let's say Oyebola wants to post a topic. He goes to paste, post new topic and he wants to post something about football. And say he wants to say Mikel B is the most successful Nigerian footballer ever. He is to present in this text field the motion he's proposing, either as a question or as a statement of opinion. So for this case, this is a statement of opinion. If he were to come back and put in the reason why he's proposing that in defense of his statement, without selecting a debate section or a, debate, a category, and does this, warning, ensure all your input fields have been filled. So it retains what he has typed before, so he has to come down here. For now, if you were to check, you see here that we have 10 members, because all these are gotten from database. This is database, and we have 10 members already registered. And we can also check, we have 19 debate topics already here. If you go to the database too and check topics, you see that there are 19. If we were to count the rules here, there are 19. Now, let's say I need to show something also. The categories and the sections are gotten from the database. If you check our categories, there are nine categories on the platform, and these are the sections on the same platform. Now we can see if we go to sports, football, sports general, and sports betting are under sports for ID4. If you come down here, sports is four. So if we were to come here to and he selects politics. It's what's for politics that will come here. Or if he selects sports, then he gets this. He can take football and then post. Takes him to the new topics page to see what he has posted. Now we can see one in support because when you put a statement up, you are in support of the statement you are proposing or the motion. And so we have one for support, one with none for opposed and indifferent. Now let me go to the other browser. And let's say this is Victoria. Victoria wants to oppose what has been done there. So if you go, she goes to new topics and sees this and makes a reply to this and says, this statement is not completed, or as um, purposeful as can. Now she is to select a position. She in support, she opposing or indifferent. And so she takes oppose and submits that. Goes back to the topic. You can see this was initiated, the topic was initiated by Ebola in support, Victoria now is opposing. If we were to go back to football, you see here that we have one support, one oppose. And so that is how it changes. Now let's say someone else, let me log out from Victoria and log in as Ibrahim. Okay. 
And Ibrahim is seeing this and says, ah, this is an interesting topic. Let me see what people are saying. Clicks on that. This opens. And says, well, I agree with this statement. And I disagree with this statement. It will show. Since he has already agreed for this particular statement, he cannot disagree at the same time. This will not work. Until he reverses his agree and comes here and does this. So we have one for disagree or one disagree here, one disagree here. Let me log out from Ibrahim and log in as someone else. Say Afric Poet at Gmail. The right password? Okay, yeah. And goes to that same topic and says, I agree with this and disagree with this. If we go back here, you see why we still have just two statements, one in support, one in oppose. We can see that there are two comments, there are four views, and when you open, you can see what has happened, as how people have reacted to agree or disagree. So for now, the version one of the project is that members are able to register, members are able to log in, members are able to post a topic, members are able to post comments and in, make interactions the way they want. That's that. But I want to also add that nine weeks and some days ago, I would say I have heard of HTML in JavaScript, but I had no knowledge of what CSS was. Well, I've never even heard of CSS or Bootstrap or all that technologies. And so it's amazing that just in nine weeks and some days, I'm able to do this. And I'm privileged to have been picked to be part of this squad, to have met these wonderful people, and to be a part of this setup. The faculty has been so engaging and so helpful because when I came from the first time, I was thinking and asking myself, is it going to be possible? Will I be able to do this at the end of the day? But thank you, Muta Academy, for this opportunity and for this knowledge. Thank you very much.